What if there were one non-alien people on Earth? For nearly all of human history, there hasn't been that many of us. Around the year zero, Earth's population is estimated to have been 190 million. A thousand years later, it was probably around 250 million. Then the Industrial Revolution happened, and human population went into overdrive. It took hundreds of thousands of years for humans to hit the one billion mark. That was in 1800. We added the next billion by 1928. In 1960, we hit 3 billion, and in 1975, 4 billion. That sounds like the route to an overpopulation apocalypse, right? So what will happen if there exists more than one non-alien people on Earth? Let's find out. But before we finally move, we ask you to support us and check out the really cool links given below for amazing deals. Humans are the most populous large mammal on Earth, and probably in all of geological history. With this much population across the globe, there are numerous problems like water scarcity, less jobs, pollution, and many more. But have you ever thought that if somehow the population keeps increasing and reaches one non-alien, how would the world look? Well, let's first understand how much a non-alien is. You see this number, right? It's one non-alien. It has 54 zeros, and having that much population on Earth is itself a bad sign. If there exist a non-alien people on Earth, there would be an onslaught of new diseases constantly emerging and wiping out anyone who can't afford vaccinations or were affected before being vaccinated. People would wear biohazard suits and masks to step outside, and there would be more demand for working online and shopping online. Obviously, the environment would be completely butchered. Deforestation, trash, carbon emissions, mining, you name it. The only remaining forest would be for logging, there would be a lack of oxygen. The ocean would be void of life from overfishing and pollution. 99% of species would go extinct. Everyone would have to be vegan because cattle products will be too expensive and poultry too much of a disease risk. We predict that infrastructure could sprawl vertically once the globe becomes effectively landlocked. Think like the ecological structure of a rainforest. Basically, when the cities run out of room to settle on the ground, perhaps they build on top of each other into the sky and down throughout the ocean. Futuristic maps would need to be constructed in three dimensions to express the additional vertical plane. Ah, it keeps growing worse, right? So these are all theories. Let's talk about science. The land area of the world is 510 million square kilometers, 196,912,100 square miles. Which means that if we were to inhabit this Earth with a non-alien of our human counterparts, we would need a density of, wait for it, almost two septillion people per square kilometer. We can try stacking them, but it's no use. For one, tons of people would get crushed to death. For another, it will create a pile of human carcasses taller than Mount Everest, so not good. Do you know what else is not good? Black holes. Yes, black holes, the hole that eats up stars like in this artist's representation. Now, if the density is one non-alien people per square kilometer, then the combined gravity would actually make us all collapse into a star, which will eventually become a black hole. Why? Well, let's take a typical human being, which weighs at around 70 kilograms. The entire mass of our one non-alien strong human race will weigh about 70 non-alien kilos. Very big numbers. In comparison, the sun's mass is just two decillion kilos. We would weigh even more than the largest super red giant star, which will become a black hole soon. In order to have that many people on Earth, you would need to connect multiple universes and times together. It would have to be a polyphase meeting so people could pass through each other at the quantum scale. In the very distant future, technology could lead to much larger sustainable human populations if some people could eventually live off the planet Earth. Earth is our only home for now, and we must find a way to live on it sustainably. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit a like, and we'll be back very soon. Till then, goodbye.